Are you a new Rocket League player looking for some tips on how to play this insanely difficult game? Are you ranked anywhere from bronze to champ and struggling to rank up? This video should help. This video is the first part of a series in which I'll share a few great tips about each part of Rocket League. This one will be about improving your touches on the ball. Okay, this first one is something that I've noticed a lot of lower ranked friends doing quite often. Hitting the ball as soon as you can. So hitting the ball as soon as you possibly can in every play makes your plays incredibly easy for your opponents to read. You want to be mixing things up, taking your time sometimes, faking a touch sometimes, shadowing in defense, and yeah, of course, blasting it the moment you get in reach of the ball sometimes, but not always. Try to practice self-restraint by not charging at the ball at every moment. Take a look at this situation. So you're chasing the ball back in defense. You could take this course directly towards the ball and hit it up the wall. Okay, let's go back. Instead, let's take a wider arc back towards our goal and then turn in field and then turn back towards the ball and boom it downfield. This is a much more effective play that will put your opponents on defense and your team on offense. All right, this next one's really important as well. Don't get the hardest touch every touch. Okay, so what does this mean? Well, there's a lot to be said for soft touches. Hard touches, like that last boom downfield in the first point, they're great sometimes, but not always. Sometimes it's much better to get a light touch because it helps you to keep control of the ball. And this is one of the most important parts of Rocket League. Far too often I see players, including myself, giving the ball away by going for a big touch that the opponents easily read. After all, most of the time when you're in defense, particularly in twos, you should be leaving enough space between yourself and the player with the ball to be ready for their hardest touch. This is why getting soft touches is often much better. It allows you to keep the ball and make progress upfield towards the opponent's goal. As you get closer to their goal, your opponent's anxiety increases, and they're more likely to rush in and leave themselves exposed in defense. So, go for light touches, keep the ball, and only boom it when it seems like the best play to make. Okay, this last one is also about touches, but with a little bit of awareness sprinkled in. Once you finish your first touch, your opponents will often rush you. So this one ties into the first one. Many people in lower ranks have a one touch mentality when they play the game themselves. And so they basically expect everyone else on the pitch to be playing the same way. Also, it's just basically easier to get your first touch than your second. So people expect your first touch to be a good one They'll read it, and then they'll go for you straight away. So, be aware that you'll get challenged as soon as you make your first touch. Be ready for that, and if you can, think two touches ahead. Make your first touch, and then be ready to follow it up with another touch. Or at least predict your opponent's challenge and go up for a 50. This is something you should get used to doing as you play Rocket League. Putting yourself in your opponent's shoes asking yourself, what does my opponent expect me to do here? What kind of touch does he expect me to get? And then adjust your play accordingly. Okay, there are my three tips guys about touches. I hope that really helped you guys to add a few extra skills and ideas to your gameplay and hopefully get that next rank that you're after. Thanks so much for watching and check back my next video, which is gonna be all about awareness.